This time step is called the motivator. Right, so you've got heel lift, shot, full step, heel, followed by a tap step, heel, into the another tap step, heel, because you're going to put the emphasis on the tap step before you put the heel down. So you've got heel, shot, full step, heel, tap step, heel, tap step, then you're going to run the heel into the next side, heel, shot, full step, heel, tap step, heel, drop. And you're going to keep the weight off that left foot because you're going to start the time step, the second part, on that left side. So, okay, now you're going to do the heel lift on the right side to get into the left side of the time step. Heel, top, full step, heel, tap, step, heel, tap, step, run the heel into the right side, heel, top, full step, heel, tap, step, heel, run. Right. Do that one more time. Heel, top, full step, heel. Tap, step, heel, tap, step, heel, shot, full step, heel, tap, step, heel, drop, start on the other side, heel, shot, full step, heel, tap, step, heel, tap, step, heel, shot, full step, heel, tap, step, heel, drop. This uh, simple time step is called the chicken shack. It's got a nice flow to it. So tap step, tap step, shot, full step, heel, shot, full, heel lift. So you've got the two tap steps, a shuffle step heel, and then a shuffle heel lift. You then start on the other side, the two tap steps, shuffle step heel, and shuffle heel lift. Now you're running that rhythm together, and one end, or two end, or three end, or four, and five end, or six end, or seven end. So putting that together, 